Hey guys, Duke Me Player here, and today was an incredible day for Street Fighter 6. What an announcement! We got the Season 2 roster, and I bet no one could have predicted what they had. From Fear of Fear Away, we got Terry Bogard, and we got Mai Shiranui. Terry is a character that I proposed for Street Fighter 5 in another video, but Mai Shiranui really took me by surprise. I'm super excited, those are two incredible characters i look forward to see their gameplay and of course we have our girl my girl elena's back i was an elena main in street fighter 3 i also played elena in street fighter 4 so of course i'm super super happy to see elena back in street fighter 6 can't wait to play with her can't wait to stream some games uh, i wonder how they're going to deal with elena's healing because healing in street fighter 3 there was no issue with it in Street Fighter 4 it became an issue, but that's mostly because it was an Ultra and you would get Ultras anyway by taking damage and because there was focus attack in the game and you could backdash focus attack, Elena could just sit back and focus backdash a lot of projectiles and then just heal and just keep doing that and the matches will take forever, so it was really annoying. But if Healing was a super in the game, there would be no issue with it. So I wonder how they're going to deal with it in Street Fighter 6. I think it's probably going to be her level 2, if it is in the game. And I don't think it's going to be scary in this game, even though you can get two level 2s in a match, especially if you're healing. But in Street Fighter 6 you really need to have a level 3 available to do that drive rush combo into a big level 3 because it's an explosive game, right? So if Elena is using all her super to heal, I think she's going to miss something and she can still die by one or two big combos from you know, Marisa or something anyways, even healing. So I think it's going to be okay. And finally, we also have M. Bison, a character that I particularly wasn't very interested in but I know a lot of people wanted M. Bison, so now that he's in the game, I bet there's a lot, a lot of people very, very happy. And even if I don't want the character, if the community wants the character, I think it's a great thing, because it brings people to the game. But, but, I will say this, I love the new Bison design. It's fantastic, it's incredible. I really, really, really love the new design. So yeah, he, he kind of got me there, he kind of got me there with the new design, but I still don't think I'm going to be playing Bison, but I really dig the, the new design. We will probably see some gameplay from Bison soon, I think tomorrow we're going to have a new trailer. So yeah, super excited, I bet a lot of people are very happy with it. It is a little sad that a lot of the characters we wanted to return from Street Fighter 4 or Street Fighter 5 are not in the game yet but i think it's a it's a really cool roster for season two capcom has really outdone themselves and surprised everyone and the street fighter 6 feature looks bright indeed what are your opinions who are you most excited to see in the game and also guys this is the first time i do this type of video like commentating an announcement no script or anything so I'm really curious to know what you guys think. If you enjoy, if you want me to do more for future news, please, please, please let me know in the comments. Hit the like button, all that sort of stuff. So I know that you guys want to hear my crazy opinions for future announcements. But anyways, for now, this has been a Dukeme Player, and I'll see you guys later.